Hey folks, what is going on? How you doing? How you doing? What is up? It is I, Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, your Cinematic Sorcerer, as a matter of fact, and I want to welcome one, welcome all, welcome people to the Game Gallery. This is the show where we talk about tabletop gaming, specifically well, for right now, tabletop RPGs, because the world is on fire and everybody's sick. So we are going to be talking about games that you can play and things that you can learn about here in the middle of your lockdown. And I'm really looking forward to, to today's show. I'm really enthused. I'm really jazzed because I sort of have been preparing for this for a long time. OK, I want to make that clear. Um, one of the things that I do just generally as a person, let alone as a dungeon master, as a guy, as a dude, as a thing that does stuff, is since I'm broke and I'm broke a lot, um, I look for resources that are free, free resources. So that is going to be the number one thing that we are talking about today um, are the free things that you can do to get into any one of these hobbies or pick up um augmentation stuff on the hobbies that you're already into things like that um i am a big fan of free okay and um how can i put this well i grew up a po black child so anything that didn't cost my mom money was stuff that i could get into specifically things like origami and a few hobbying things in the sense of i can um what is the term i can find stuff to do i can find stuff to do and i can find stuff to do with stuff laying around the house and that was the 80s that was the 80s so we had a lot of weird stuff laying around the house mostly caustic chemicals y'all know how that goes but um but now we're in the 21st century and we've got this whole internet thing happening right now and that is fun and awesome and amazing and all of those things that we like to reach out for so i'm gonna let you guys know that today's episode is about a whole lot of stuff that we can do while we're stuck in this um this reminds me of rainy day activities from when i was a kid um and you go to school and it's raining outside so they can't let you outside for lunch or recess you know, you can't go out in the yard and play. So what are you going to do? You're going to stick around in the classroom. But before I do any of that, we need to get down to business. And yay, I did all this in time enough for the music to come back up. All right. Isn't that fun? So if you guys want to be part of the show today and you guys want to talk to me and all that stuff, that is really easy. All you got to do, okay, everything that you got to do is pull up your keyboard open up your email and type in back in the deck at gmail.com that's b-a-c-k-i-n-t-h-e-d-e-c-k at gmail.com you can also hit us up on the social media and with the social media i practically mean instagram and twitter that's a big thing that you can do with us and just go to their things instagram.com slash back in the deck or b-a-c-k-i-n-t-h-e-d-e-c-k twitter.com slash back in the decks or you know b-a-c-k-i-n-t-h-e-d-e-c-k yes i spell that out a lot on my daily basis but you can do that stuff follow us there uh check out the pictures of what we're building get announcements for the show and all that other stuff um if you're part of that wretched hive of scum and villainy that i call facebook that's easy all you gotta do all you got to do right now is go over to Facebook and log on to Deckers on the Book. And with Deckers on the Book, um, you can log in, sign up, check out all the stuff that we got going over there and um, talk to each other. That's a big thing. You can talk to each other, um, talk to us, all that jazz. And again, once you guys do that, you guys can make new friends, check out the stuff that you're um that you're what's the term i'm looking for um building check out the stuff that we're building um exchange tips and tricks and trades and all that stuff now if you guys are wondering what i'm trying to do right now i am yeah right now i'm letting people know 
that we're live because yesterday I had a little bit of trouble with Twitch. Um, and by that, I mean, we ended up recording the whole show. Um, and Twitch didn't exactly upload because their servers were full with the Monday and Tuesday of everything being locked down. So it's a thing. Um, so I'm letting people know that we're here. We're here. We're in. Okay, there we go. All right. So now that I've managed to let people know that we're in, um, just letting people know that that's the stuff that we are into and that we're doing. So yeah, it has been a couple of days. It has really been a couple of days. And I'm like writing the show. I'm doing the stuff we got to do. You know what I mean? And then it hit me when, what is the term? There's a big thing right now. Uh, one of the memes on Facebook that was talking to me was like, um, you wake up every morning, it's a picture of Picard, and it's like, what it's like waking up every morning and checking your social media, and it's like, damage report, you know, and yeah, yeah, that's pretty much been it, and I'm like, what can I do to circumvent this, what can I do to help people through this time, because a lot of y'all don't know it, but y'all urban folks and y'all rural folks, y'all know, boredom is the cause of most things that people are afraid of. It's the biggest cause of crime. It's the biggest cause of property destruction. You know, one of the things I do love about the Midwest, other than their steak, is um one real simple thing. Hey, we got a bunch of teenage boys going through puberty and they ain't got nothing to do. Uh, put them on a sports team. Yeah, put them on a sports team. There you go. Yeah, that'll that'll give them something to do. That works. Um, so yeah, it, it is a really big thing. But for those of us that really don't dig on the sports, like that ain't really our bag. Um, you know, we got into reading and science and math and RPGs and stuff like that. And make no mistake, that don't make us good kids. All right, I'm a, I'm a, I'm putting that out there. I'm being I'm keeping it 100 with you guys right now, all right? If you're a kid and you're bored, chances are you're going to think about doing something and it's going to get you in trouble. And if you're a smart, bookish kid, chances are you're into things like math or chemistry and that's when the experiments start. And that's when things go real bad, <laughs> like real bad, okay? We're talking accidental fires or like chemical exposure and stuff like that. It's just, hey, I wonder what happens if I mix this with this. Or I wonder what happens if I take this thing that's in my refrigerator and I mix it with this thing that is in my refrigerator and I feed it to my sister. Like I said, boredom equals bad stuff. So what am I gonna do to help people circumvent boredom now that you know covid thing is doing that whole social distancing thing and i ain't gonna lie to you guys really not gonna lie to you guys um a lot of people are like dude i can practice my social distancing i can do all that you know i'm an introvert already and i get that however i love cheesecake okay i love cheesecake and if by some strange wackiness of imagination, um, cheesecake became manda mandatory and I had to have cheesecake with every meal. Eventually, I'd get sick of cheesecake. Okay. Happened with chicken back in the 90s and, you know, I haven't eaten it since because now I can't. But um, the whole point that I'm getting into right now is, um, yeah, it is a real, 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 real thing. Um that now that people have to do social distancing, we start getting these ideas, you know, the, the, these whole ideas. Well, cool, I can finish writing that script. I can finish up that story. Um, I could play this video game. I could watch stuff on Hulu. We got loads of stuff that we can do. Monday, I did the show that said, these are a lot of options of things that you can watch and things that you can get into while we're on the social lockdown thing. That was kind of my way of being of service. However, what do you do when you've watched everything you want to do on Netflix? You know, so what What are we going to do? There's a lot of stuff out there and attention spans aren't exactly what they used to be. And when I say they're not what they used to be, I mean that. 
the attention spans of ancient Greeks were way bigger than ours. They could sit around and, you know, think for days. That That's just what they could do because there was nothing else to do. Um, so I got to give my shout outs. And to my folks, um, definitely big shout out to Taz. Um, Taz, the dude that provided this dope beat I got here playing in the background to make listening to this a little easier. That, that, that's a big thing. And um, yeah, um, check him out. Taz Tim Jetter. Um, look him up on Facebook. Um, talk to him about beats and all that stuff. He's a working musician. And he's a lot like Kevin McLeod with Incompetech. And he makes a lot of a lot of beats and a lot of music that you can download under Creative Commons license. And if you really need something big, then you can talk to him about him doing a full composition um, for your work. So that is a real big thing. Um, You know, and of course, I want to let you guys know, I'm not going to be doing this in our normal email me segment because, um, yeah, it's just a whole lot. And if people like, if people tune in and they see me, they're going to tune out and I'm trying to get to 75 viewers on average. So, um, I'm just going to let you guys know if you guys like the stuff that we provide and like, you know, the talking and all this stuff, but you get tired of looking at my face. I get that. I get that. I don't have a lot of flashy stuff. I would need to hire two more people to do that. So if you guys really want to see that stuff, that's easy. All you guys got to do to get the audio of all of our broadcasts is simple. Head on over to soundcloud.com slash BID underscore P and just download our audio stuff. Seriously, this is, you know, you guys can listen to it on SoundCloud. If you got the space in your hard drives, then cool. You know, if you got the space in your hard drives, download it. Keep it for free forever. That is my gift to you. Mm. God, yeah, I'm being that guy. Um, Yeah, that is my gift to you guys. And that is what I'm putting out there because I grew up broke. I get it. And right now people is broke, you know, and if you guys happen to have some disposable income and you think that what you know what we do here at back in the deck is cool and you want to help us out by supporting us on the regular then head on over to patreon.com slash bid underscore p and become a patron you know for as little as a buck a month you can help me keep these lights on if you've got more than that you get free stuff and a rank okay so think about it like buying some really cool stuff um and helping us stay open with all that stuff like our royalty um like our royalty with our guys being queen shannon boom lay king paul mansfield and our ace in the hole one of our aces in the holes at the hundred dollar tier um jennifer crow uh, one of the things that we're giving away at the fifty dollar tier it's one of these. This, my friend, is a dice roller. And these are awesome. We worked really hard on these um, to make these dice rollers work. I like Angel, so I'm a big fan of the Angel of Death. And uh, we've got our Dark Lord. <laughs> you know, some people call him Cthulhu, but I don't have nine tongues. And it's an alien language, so there's really no right way to pronounce it. So everything is wrong, so let's play with that. Um, but now, let's get on to talking about the free stuff. Now, I talk to a lot of people about RPGs, all right? I do. I talk, well, I talk to a lot of people about RPGs. I am such a shill. I really am. If it comes down to rolling dice, telling stories, and feeling awesome, um, that is me 100%. And I'm like, you guys should totally check um check us out do what we're doing hang with us play with us especially and well you know um i get the number one question hey how much does it cost to do this and i let them know in the best way that i can and by that i mean i ask do you mean money or do you mean effort okay because there is what's called the triad of production good fast cheap pick two Alright, if it's good and fast, it's going to cost you everything. 
If it's fast and cheap, it's going to explode. I don't care if it doesn't have anything combustible in it. It will blow up. It's just going to be like, and you're like, it's a book. Why is it on fire? It just did that. It was cheaper to make make it out of flash paper, and I guess it got hot in the room. I mean, it, it, it's there. And of course, um, let's see. Yeah. And if it's good and, you know, if it's, um, let's see. I already said if it's good and fast, it's going to cost everything. If it's fast and cheap, it's going to cost everything. But if it's good and cheap, it's going to take forever. Okay. And that's just, you know, that that's just the reality of it. Um, so the amount of work that you put into stuff is interesting. Now, the biggest game out there right now is fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons. And it's like, well, how much does it cost to get into? And I'm like, well, that's a hard question to answer because, um, of course you can go to your local brick and mortar store and you can buy the starter kit for like $25. And that will teach you the basics of the game mechanics. That'll teach you how to create a character. And for 25 bucks, it's a really good appetite wetter. And if you're going to get into it, you're going to get into it. And I dig it. Um, however, since my resources are limited and I talk to people whose resources are limited, I always recommend that they pick up the player's handbook for $50. Now, $50 sucks up front. Okay, that is a lot of money. That's hard. However, it's what you're paying for. Okay, you're spending that 50 bucks on something that you can literally do for the rest of your life. How do I know? Because I still play second edition D&D that came out back in 1984. All right. Um, think about it like spending 50 bucks on a board game. You're going to be able to play that board game over and over and over and over again forever. All right. So I say blow the 50 bucks. But if you don't have the 50 bucks or if you guys are kids watching this, I totally understand. Um, so the next question is, what do you do? Well, there are so many free resources online um, to teach you how to play games, um, games that you can literally download. I mean, seriously, we've been spending most of our time living in PDF paradise. That's right. You can download so many free, um, free things. So many free resources, modules, um, you know, quick start rules, all that stuff to so many games and all that stuff for absolutely free directly to your phone. You can do this. So if you can watch this or if you're listening to this right now, you can get these resources. I mean, seriously. Um, but what resources are you talking about? Solar? I don't know. You're talking about all this stuff. Just give me the information I want to know. All right. All right. All right. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Now. Um, I have a free account, okay, at a platform called Drive Through RPG. All right, and you sign up for it. You give me your email. You click the little button that says, "No, I don't want to hear about your offers." <laughs> um, hmm. Well, thank you very much, uh, Vixen. She's saying that she thinks the chat is disabled, but how can the chat be disabled if I can read that message? Mm hmm. Um. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a uh, it's like eBay or Amazon, but this is mostly for RPGs. And what I did before I started the show is I went over here and in product type, I clicked core rule books and that gave me a little thing right there. And then I went all the way down to the bottom of the page and I said, price zero, maximum zero dollars free or pay what you want. And there's a lot of things on that. And so many things are out there. Each one of these things each one of these books that you're looking at right now, all of these are role-playing games with their own systems, um, their own rules that stand alone, and you can download these for absolutely nothing. It will cost you nothing to get this stuff. You know, it really will. I mean, it, it's... These are resources that are just out there. That one's at Drive Through RPG. Hmm. It says can't post anything in the live chat. Well, that is interesting. If you guys are wondering what I'm looking at, um, we're gonna check in on the chat really, really quick because again, I haven't said what's up to those guys, and it looks like the chat is being a little weird. But know that I can see you. Know that you're there. Know that you're loved. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, we're looking at Truncheon World. Um, no idea, no idea. All this stuff that I'm looking at here, um, most of it, and I'm, I'm, I'm being real with you, most of this stuff here, I have not seen. <laughs> I'm like, wow, look at all this. Paws and Claws, uh, set in a world inspired by Redwall novel series. Sword and Shield Adventure as a mouse. Oh, mouse, uh, mouse warrior, a hedgehog cook, a wild beast. Again, costs nothing. If any of this stuff seems interesting, you can literally download it to your phone and read it. Now, I thought about that today because this morning, um, this morning I got a, I, I got a notice from a friend of mine who is big in the RPG community. I mean, he is really, really big in the RPG community. He is, he used to work at a few um, role-playing game or role-playing companies, um, and he stays up on um, he stays up on all of the stuff that we're talking about. And he let us know in one of the groups that we're in that Onyx Press is having a super special offer under which I've already missed the first two days. Now, if you guys don't know who Onyx Press is, let me explain. Onyx Press is ah there we go onyx press is a game company that um that bought the license to all the old um or is wait is it onyx press or onyx path yeah there we go onyx path publishing oh, i'm sorry about that and these guys these guys at onyx path um they're an RPG company and they do some pretty cool stuff and they bought up the um they bought up the licensing okay and that's big they bought up the licensing to most of the old White Wolf games um for those of you guys that wanted to get into gaming in the 90s but you were too young and your and your teenage siblings were like no you're too young I don't want you to do all that stuff because let's face it they wanted to put on all their golf gear listen to Nine Inch Nails, and pretend to be vampires. That was the company that did all that stuff with Vampire the Masquerade. Uh, we have an episode of Fluff Talk you can find on like any place that you get your your podcast where we talk about that stuff. Um, but we're going to talk a little bit more about it today. Onyx Press bought up those licensing, and they refined the rules to be a little bit more model, modern. And they um, have released the whole thing all over again and they have some other things like some cute games like pirates of pugmire um you know you play a pug um you play more stuff from the deep i mean they have a lot of stuff okay they have a lot of stuff and they're kind of keeping that fire bur burning for those of us white wolf people and then these dudes right here these dudes right here you know what they did you know what they did I, I'm so mad. I'm so mad because I don't do enough research and I wasn't in the know. But starting two days ago on Monday, they're like, it's the 20th anniversary of these games that came out in 1990. So um, we're going to give away a PDF of the 20th anniversary of the first edition of those games. Those. Oh, so Monday, Monday, they said come on over to the game to the storytellers vault and that's over at uh, storytellervault.com sign up for one of their things okay sign up for an account with them and download vampire the masquerade 20th anniversary edition for free to your phone that was monday but it was just monday and then tuesday came around and they said hey I'm glad that you guys like Vampire. Remember Werewolf? Remember Werewolf the Apocalypse? Yeah, guess what? You can download that on Tuesday. And we're like, oh man, they're going through all the major core books. I can't believe all this. So it's Wednesday. And Wednesday, because they could, they went to Mage the Ascension. Download Mage the Ascension for free to your phone because why not? 
<laughs> that is what they did and it was great um yeah mage the ascension now i've talked at length about this game Okay, I have talked at length about Mage the Ascension. It is my favorite magic system in all of role-playing games. And you can easily download this for free and find out why. Okay, um, right there it's on Drive-Thru RPG for, for no money. Um, and you can get it through Onyx Press. You can get it through the Storyteller's Vault. It's all there. And tomorrow they're doing Changeling. Hey, what's going on, Kryptonite Wallflower? Uh, yeah, so, in a nutshell, you can download this game. Now, it is a full RPG. It is a core book. Um, the hardcover, you can order from RP from Drive-Thru RPG for $65. You can try and find it in a store for like $65 or upwards of $120. Or you can download the PDF for free. I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> what am I talking about what I'm gonna do? I know what I did So this is a free one that we're talking about, but we're gonna do that a little bit in the main segment today But never forget we've been spending most our lives living in PDF paradise That's right since we can download all this free RPG stuff um, If you wanted to try a role-playing game now is the time now is the time to download the books to read the books and to ask questions um now who would you ask questions to i don't know you know i mean it's it's not like there's any place out there that you could send an email to or <coughs> nobody that you can ask or talk about but um yeah so there are so many different free things so what i can say is head over to drive through rpg.net or drive through rpg.com okay and um Sign up for an account, give them the email that you receive spam through or something. Y'all know how you do, and so do we, and I ain't gonna be, like, bad about it. Um, and seriously, sign up for an account, do a little search for core rulebooks, and um, put in zero. And if you already have RPGs, if you already play, and you want to get more stuff, there are so many ways that you can search through this website as long as the price is zero and you can download this stuff to your phone to your tablet to your computer and you can read this stuff um we've talked about skinning a lot okay uh skinning i.e taking monsters and stories from one game and then porting them into the game that you actually know like Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition is what everybody knows right now um and this is something that we've been doing for a long time a long 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 time because um again we talked about fantasy tropes and ways that a lot of people don't like fantasy you know it's it's one thing to dress up in your renaissance fair gear going ah, I'm pretty my lord I shall be an adventurer and help thy lady blah 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 you know but sometimes you don't want to do that um, if you're a person of color, <laughs> um, like I am, um, you tend to run into people that when you prance up saying, pretty my lord, they want to throw you in shackles. It's a thing, um, even if they mean it as a joke. Um, so White Wolf came around in 1990, okay? And they released modern pseudo fantasy. It was grim dark. It was some really interesting stuff. But essentially, it took place about now or a couple of years ago to about now and um the first book you can play a vampire living in your city doing stuff by night now if you guys remember the video game vampire masquerade bloodlines it was based on this role-playing game and you could do that stuff with the camarilla and and the sabbat and you're a vampire and you're trying not to be a monster or you are a monster and you're running from hunters there's a whole lot of stuff that you can do um and if you want to run, say, the Dungeon Dragons module Tomb of Horrors, why would you want to do it? I don't know. It was terrible. You could drop it into the sewers in New York. That's what you could do. Okay? Or you could say the vampires had to go to <clears throat> uh, Minnesota to talk to an elder, and that elder has a manor house. That's a big dungeon. You, you, you see what I mean? You could just take the principles and the maps from all that and apply them to something modern, and you're good. And having these free resources are a treasure trove, treasure trove of this kind of stuff. 
And these are the things that you can do now that you're on lockdown today. I mean, that that's a big thing. And, you know, I we don't talk about politics, but it's hard for me to talk about what is going on with um, with reality, as it were, without mentioning a lot of this stuff, because we're all stuck at home. We're stuck at home. We're not supposed to be talking to people. But what do we have? We have video communication like FaceTime, Facebook, um, a lot of face, Skype, <laughs> Zoom. Um, and as I said, I have been running lots of games, you know, well, lots of games for me because I'm still running this company. But I, I've been running RPGs online um, through Zoom. And people have been having a fun time. Even the players that can't make every session, I can run a Skype session with them or a Zoom session with them rather and be like, hey, so your character disappeared right before they went into the spaceship. Let's talk about what happened to you. <laughs> you know, and everybody is in. Everybody's in. Everybody can do their stuff and we can still communicate with each other, have a little bit of company and keep ourselves safe from all this virusing and all that jazz. Um, so these are my recommendations. The main one is go to drive through RPG, download Mates the Ascension. Tomorrow will be Changeling the Lost. So on Thursday, you can download Changeling, which is great. Uh, and you guys can, you know, learn an RPG that you might be able to run and um, just read the book. You got the time now. And let's face it, you're at home. So, um, and if for some strange reason you guys might have questions or anything like that, um, our main patron, Shannon Boom Boom Lay, invoke the power of Patreon since she's at the $20 tier. Um, she contacted me directly saying, hey, I need some help learning this game. And she can do that because she's up there. But, you know, if you've got more time than money, like most of us do, I don't know where you can find somewhere to talk to someone or ask questions about a specific game. I just I just have no idea how you could possibly get a hold of anyone to ask any questions. You know, it's not like there are Facebook groups out there that you can talk to people that are familiar with this work or anything like that. Um, but anyway, on to... Um, our free thing of the day because I'm all giddy and all that jazz and I really am I really am because I love this game now I'm gonna let everybody know there's no such thing out there as a perfect system except for the Oingo Boingo song Google it youngsters um, but yeah I mean I look at this game and I'm like I'm in love with you I know you know um, and this is Mage the Ascension okay now with Mage the Ascension it's simple you play a wizard in the modern day and I love doing games in modern day because I hate drawing maps and I have a Thomas guide <laughs> and um, you know um, one of the big things of Onyx um, White Wolf slash Onyx Path is all of these games you're playing fantasy creatures um, in the modern days and one of the biggest things about it Oh, neat. They've got the whole um, tarot out there. I actually have this tarot deck, and that's cool. Pride, Power, and Paradox. That is so much, so awesome. Um, the art on this looks amazing. It really, it really does. I'm, I'm happy with that. I've got something to do for the rest of the week. Um, and it's real simple, okay? In this game, you play wizards, and it goes magic versus technology, and it's a secret war that you can't let regular people know in on. And as a mage, you are one in a million, which means you and your party are super duper, uber, uber special. Um, and it comes down to, you can do all of this magic, you just can't be flashy, okay? You can't be flashy. You have to be able to write off any spell that you cast as an act of coincidence. I didn't cast a fireball, the gas line piped, or the gas pipe broke. And I guess somebody was smoking. I don't know. It's a thing. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't fly. What are you talking about? No, I was flying a kite. It just looks like, you know, I, I had a special kite that looks just like me. See, it's a dude in a trench coat. See what I mean? Um, 
And if you do that, you're fine. But if people go, no, 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 uh, 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 I know you, Eddie. I saw that fireball come from your hands. No, 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 you don't. Lift up your sleep. Lift up your sleep. You do not have. You do not have a flamethrower up your wrist. You do not have a flamethrower in your wrist. You know, because um, reality has its own rules, and magic, by its very nature bends and breaks the rules of reality. Now, in this game, reality is determined by what most people believe. And way back a long time ago during the Age of Enlightenment, magic lost its place, and that's where we lost all the wizards and witches and all that other stuff, and it was replaced with technology. So that magic box in your kitchen that makes your food warm, you know, that's not magic, that's a microwave. It's not a spell, it's not a magical relic that has a spell inside it where if you use your fingers in a certain way, then a few minutes later your food will heat up because it uses magical energies of the universe to make your food warm. No, 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 no. It's a regular box that has a radioactive isotope in it that activates the subatomic molecules of water within the food that you put in there to excite the water at to excite the water within your food, and then they make it steam, and three to five minutes later, your food is warm. Science! You know, <laughs> and um, and it's a war for belief, and that happens in the regular world. And um, if you play it right, it gets a little we it gets a little weird. So um, you end up making characters from different traditions of magic that are trying to reach enlightenment and are trying to enlighten the world or take back reality so that they can do magic themselves. That is the awesome stuff. The downside, um, there are things called paradox spirits, which adds a whole bunch of silly to the game. And any storyteller that decides to run this game can just throw that out the window. Because I cast a spell that does a bunch of stuff and I can teleport you and you and you and you and you and you. And no, I'm not hiding it because I am the Sorcerer Supreme. And then a giant, cl a giant clown comes out comes out of a wall and eats you and you know that's just kind of anticlimactic you know what i mean um but yeah the game turns magic into an ideological thing and the magic system in this game is something that i really 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 like okay i really like the magic system in this game because um in a lot of games a lot of stories Whenever you have someone who can cast magic, they cast magic with spells. I know a spell. Um, in Dungeons and Dragons, you learn different level spells and different level can you know different level effects, and you can cast a lower level spell at a higher level spell slot to make it more powerful. And you have a whole bunch of cantrips and all this stuff, and that's cool. And there is. I'm really trying to find a way to say this so that not many people will get offended because sometimes people are sensitive, but the creativity comes with how can you use those spells that you know um, in creative ways. And I get you, you know? So if you have, say, Mage Hand, you materialize a hand and you can manipulate it like a hand, so what would you have that hand do? Um, but it can't punch people. You know, it just can't punch people. I make mine set up tripping traps, <laughs> or I'll lev I'll use the rock to, uh, I'll use the hand to lift a five pound rock over someone's head, and then I'll dispel the hand. It didn't hit them, it's just a rock fell. You, you see what I mean? Um, but in this game, um, it's a little different. Um, it's the difference between being a cook and being a chef, uh, being a chef, and I really like that idea. Now, what is the difference, you may ask? Well, if you look at a spell like a recipe, you know that recipe and you can duplicate that recipe. It's a, it's a spell. It's a, it's a big thing. But a chef is good at taking what they know and creating stuff with it. And um, the way that I've always, always ended up. Um, yeah, the way that I've always ended up thinking is that is where my brain comes because I've had to improvise my entire life, okay? And that is, 
that is a really big thing of, I may not have everything for the recipe. So as my great grandmother used to say, you take what you got and you make what you want out of it. That, that's the number one thing. So um, with this game, it gave me a magic system that let me know, like let my wizard know what I know. And it's up to me to accomplish what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, yeah, I have to accomplish what I try to accomplish with what I know. And I really like that. Um, let's take a look at one of the character sheets. Um, forget all this stuff. Just forget all this. This is where the magic is. These are the nine departments of reality. Correspondence, entropy, forces, life, matter, mind, prime, spirit, time. Okay? And correspondence is location, like geographic location and location in space and location in, relati in relativity to something. So, with that particular department of knowledge, okay, think about it like a subject in school, you can make things teleport, you can open portals, you can create a sling ring um, at certain levels, and all you gotta do is get to level three and you can do almost everything you've ever seen in a comic book. And then when you get beyond that, you gotta think big, really, really big. Um, let's see, alphabetically entropy, that is the force of decay. So what can you make decay? What can you give the physical effects or deterioration on? Um, in lower levels, you can create rust. In higher levels, you can eliminate ideas. You know, just, just think about that. Um, forces are physics, okay? Heat, cold, speed, all that stuff. You want to throw a fireball? You can do that at second level. You know, that that's big. Um, you know, and you have a one to five things. I could go through all, all, all nine of the spheres, but don't worry about that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so you take these different departments that you know, you mix and match them, and you can make the effects that you want for whatever purposes you need. Um, one of the spheres is mind, and that's literally the Mind Stone from um, the Marvel movies. So you can take over people's minds, you can read their minds, you can implant thoughts. All depends on how good you are on a scale of one to five. Okay. Um, and the abstract exercise is you have one wizard that's good with mind magic. One wizard that's good with forces magic. One wizard that's good with correspondence magic. And they all have to get across town in the next 25 minutes. Well, the correspondence mage will teleport. The forces mage will fly. And the mind mage will take over the mind of a cab driver and make them drive as fast and as recklessly as they can and blow through every light and then get into a police chase and then outrun the police chase and then get dropped off and continue to run from the cops. These are all things that can happen in this game. But at the end of the day, everybody got to where they needed to do. So this was one of the games that I played a lot and I ran a lot um, back in the 90s because I like the idea of problem solving where there isn't one definite answer. There is one, one desired result and however you get there is up to you. And talk about a game that's helped me with life, right? <laughs> you know, I mean, that that is a really big, big thing. It's like, no, in order to bake a cake, you got to grab the back the back the back. And it's like, do you want cake? Do you want a specific cake? Do you want a specific cake for a specific person? Is the person that you're talking to just being controlling? Who knows? But at the end of the day, I want a piece of cake. I don't care about the quality of the cake. All I care about, if it's chocolate, a pound cake, a vanilla cake, a lemon cake, I don't think that far. <laughs> so, you know, I might want devil's food, but I'll, I'll be happy with lemon. At the end of the day, just want cake, you know? And so, um, in this particular game, you're solving mysteries and going, and going on adventures, whatever your dungeon master wants to throw at you, or in this case, storyteller. But, the magic that you know is what are you trying to accomplish with the spell and how can you do it 
Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> Vixen over here in the chat's like, so many questions for a piece of cake. Yeah, it drives my girlfriend nuts when she's like, what do you want to eat? I'm like, food. Don't have anything specific. Don't care where you order from. Just put food by me and I will put it in my mouth. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and I don't get that specific because my brain does work that way. Infinite possibilities. And when you have infinite possibilities, you don't deal well with vague questions. Okay. Um, a lot of magic systems and a lot of games um, are very specific. I cast a fireball. I cast invisibility. And the cleverness comes from, well, this is the one thing that this spell does. So how many uses I can get out of it? And that is a fun thing to do with a wizard from D&D or one from Shadowrun or, you know, any of the plethora of <clears throat> games with magic systems like that. With Mage the Ascension, it is, what do I need done? What am I trying to accomplish? You know, and um, it's, it's a game for some serious philosophical thinkers, and I'm a big fan of that. Um, so yeah, and right now, you can get it for free. You can get it. You can read it. You can be like, all right, man, there is, I, I don't get what's going on in this game. Like, I, it, it's, it's written kind of weird. I don't understand what's going on. And if that's your experience, that's cool. But guess what? You're practicing social distancing right now. What have you got to lose? You got the time, you know? So you got the time. It ain't going to cost that much money. Let me think here. It'll cost um whatever it is you're already paying to keep your internet signal or your cell phone signal on. Oh, wait, that's already paid. So you can just grab it, you know? And this is one of the plethora of the resources that are out there. Personally, I think Onyx, Onyx Path Games <clears throat> hit the nail on the head. We're practicing social distancing. We've got a product out there that you guys like. And here, have the PDF for free. Um, there you go. Just, just have it. it. It's yours. Download it. Read it. Tell us what you think. And all that jazz. And I think that is amazing. I think that is amazing. And that's what Onyx Path is doing right now. If you guys want, we can cover the rest of the Onyx Path books. Especially if I can get a hold of them and maybe have an interview with someone. Um, in the next, um, in the next, in next week's show, but, um, yeah, if, um, and if you guys really aren't interested in the game that we highlighted today, cool, you know, I ain't here to sell y'all got stuff, I ain't being paid by these people, but on our drive through rpg.net, which is a thing, I'm already a member, and like I said, I ain't getting paid by these guys, um, but these are free PDFs that you can get right now. Remember, this show is in real time. So yeah, like the Void Core. I have no idea what that is, but I might get it. Delta Green, I'm a big fan of that game and it looks like it's a core book or something, but it's free, so I can download that. Hey, the Cat of Cthulhu, uh, what is that? The Necronomicon, oh my God, yeah. HP Lovecrafts and Kitties. And yeah, I know. I know what he named his cat. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't like his work. It just means if I were to actually meet him in real life back in the 40s, I probably would have punched him in the mouth and he would have died of a heart attack by being touched by someone that looked like me. Um, but still, um, Cthulhu Mythos and Kittens? Just saying, it happens to be free. So you guys can check all that stuff out. Um, I want to see what's going on over in NP City because it looks like, yeah, it looks like these guys have a lot to say on this stuff. Um, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, Jen? Yes, oh my god, cats. Yeah, cats in HP Lovecraft. Isn't that fun? Um, and again, for free, that's again RPG.net. If you guys want the whole thing, <coughs> I'm just gonna, I can say the whole thing, which is drivethroughrpg.com slash browse dot php question mark filters equals zero underscore two one four zero underscore zero underscore zero ampersand pto equals zero. Have fun with that. <laughs> um, but what I will say is sign up for the thing. It won't cost you anything. And you can totally, totally, um, you can totally download the stuff for free and have loads of fun with that stuff. I'm just, I am super jazzed um, that Onyx Press is doing the books 
that I spent so much money on 20 years ago. And they're saying, hey, look, it's free. Take it. Put it on your tablet. Hoo-ha! If you put it on your tablet, your tongue will beat your brains out trying to get to it. And I can I can have fun um, with a lot of the games that I used to run. And since they are PDFs and they are free, I can give them to my players um, today in PDF form to say, hey, let's do some stuff. You all got the books, so let's play. Um... I think it was yesterday or something. One of my shows this week, I talked about a vampire LARP that I was in for a long time. No, it was during the D&D game that I'm running on. Um, um, yeah, the D&D game that I'm running on Zoom. And I told them about my character um, that was... A wizard in a vampire game and it was a LARP live action role play we'll talk about that next week and um yeah th these guys were like wait you played a wizard in modern times and blah 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 and blah 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 and I'm like not just a wizard techno wizard I built machines that did wacky stuff I had a jetpack and you know I, I was doing funny stuff and he was based on Dr. Strangelove because I'm a sick sick puppy but I had loads of fun, um, and we did a lot of really cool stuff. So, um, again, download the books. Tomorrow, there will be the one about Changelings, which is the game of fairies. And um, at least if we're calculating, we're pretty sure. But just check that stuff. Um, download some stuff. Learn how to play a game. Check out um, what the role-playing hobby is about. The second thing that I want to talk to you guys about, or should I say the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about, is um, one of the things that I have people pay for when I, when I teach them how to play games and all that jazz are dice. But since today is all about free stuff, let's talk about some free stuff. Now, some of my players, um, some of my players didn't have access to brick and mortar game stores by the time that we met up and I'm cool with that um what I recommend that they get is it's on Google Play um and it's on um yeah what am I looking for nope 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 ah yeah here we go is this it uh it's on Google you can download a dice rolling app my favorite has a really good physics engine and I believe it's from Sable I think this is the right one that I'm looking at. Um, now, I ain't gonna lie, this one takes up a lot of juice in your cell phone. And I mean a lot. Ooh, wrong one. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry about that. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this app takes up a lot of juice in your cell phone. Um, but I'm a big fan of it because, um, well, how can I put this? It's, it's a good dice app. And it's on your phone. And, um, yeah, I think this is the one. But if not, search Dice Apps. Here it is, 7 Pixels, 7 Pixels Dice. And this one is awesome. I'm a fan of this one. And it's got so many different types of dice. It's a relatively intuitive application. And you can get your own dice, and that is a free app. But if you go to your app store, whether you're on an Apple phone or an Android phone, there are lots of ways to get dice without having to pay for them. Now, don't get me wrong. I got my dice, okay? I got bags full of dice, bags and bags. And matter of fact, whenever I go to a con, uh, the biggest dice company called Chessex says, give us eight bucks, take this coffee cup, and just dunk the coffee cup in a big bin of dice that they got, and then put that in your bag, and that's it. And I tend to do that once a day <laughs> when I go to a Comic-Con, but I give away a lot of dice. I give away a lot of dice to a lot of kids. Um, but if I'm not near you and can't give you a set of dice, then download the app, and you're all good. Um, but dude, that is our game, and I gotta see what's going on with my mom with this whole virus thing she's over 65 and all that stuff and i'm supposed to be going over there shortly after the show today but i want to thank you guys for showing up 
Thank you for showing up. Thank you for holding it down. Um, serious thanks to my folks over in MP City. Um, thank you guys for holding it down. Quinn Jen, Clever Vixen, all the new people that have shown up today. Um, thank you. Thank you guys for showing up. And um, if you guys... If you guys really want to hang and talk with us with all that stuff, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys doing what you can to help keep us operational. Um, doing doing these shows, it really means a lot to me. It, I, I really, there's, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a registered nurse. I'm just a wizard with a whole bunch of tools. And I can't get out there and cast spells to heal diseases or you know, help people get over their stuff like in a day. I can't, but, um, I'm here. I'm here for you guys. We're doing these shows. I do them Monday through Thursday. Um, tomorrow we're going to be getting into more dungeon tiles (laughs) and this one, this is going to be, this is going to be a fun one. Um, with the dungeon tiles, I'm spending a lot of time on my, on my hot wire cutter. Um, just so that I can show you guys, how to get the really cool immersive stuff. And maybe if you guys have the right tools or have access to the stuff, because this stuff isn't being bought out like toilet paper. So you guys will have access to more rainy day activities, or should I say lockdown activities because of a global pandemic. <laughs> and, um, you know, so I, I, I do this stuff because I'm an extrovert who happens to be surrounded by a lot of introverted people. And I know what it's like to be isolated when you want to be and when you don't want to be. Um, So we put this stuff out there. As I said, I put this out there for people of color, women, LGBTQIA plus or queer, Um, the fiscally disenfranchised because I grew up in the ghetto, which is right next door to the trailer park and boredom causes mischief. That's just, you know, again, I wonder what happens when I mix this bleach with this thing and I throw it in the bathroom. Or I wonder what happens when I mix every sauce and every spice into the blender and feed it to my sister. You know, I'm I'm trying to help give stuff to do um, for people who are bored or tired. Um, so, yeah, and I'm going to stay here and I'm going to keep doing that. But... I'm about to be played off. Yeah, look at that. See, it's it's like it's like the freaking Oscars. So what I'm going to say is um, thank you guys for showing up. Hit the Patreon. Help help support um, the stuff we do. Um, as soon as I'm allowed to get some footage of the community centers and stuff that I do, then, um, <laughs> you know, as soon as I get um, permission from the kids at the community center and their parents and all that stuff with the gaming programs that we put out there, I'll be showing footage of that, you know, but trying to avoid creepers and all that stuff because not everybody on the internet is on the up and up, let's face it. But if you guys got any questions and all that stuff, just send us an email. We have email. We have so much email. Send us an email or contact us through back on the deck at gmail.com. That's B A C K I N T H E D E C K at gmail.com. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. Leave messages and comments and all that stuff. You can ask your questions. You know, um, depending on what uh, medium you use to contact us, you will be answered. All patrons are answered. Pretty much as soon as I get the emails, as soon as I get, um, as soon as I get correspondence from the patrons, I am on it unless I'm driving. But outside of that, um, that's it. You know, follow us on Twitter, hit the Deckers on the Book group on Facebook and, um, you know, keep, keep in contact with each other, reach out. Remember we're social creatures, even though a lot of us are introverted or extroverted, we're still a social species. So we are here and we're going to be here. I might even start doing longer shows. Tell your friends about us. Bring us. I've assigned the goal <clears throat> to us from Twitch um, that we need to start averaging 75 viewers. So I'm, I got to make the community grow. Um, but with that, if anybody tells you guys that you can't like what you like or have the hobbies you love because of the circumstances of your birth, be it race, religion, creed, gender identity, sexual orientation, your disability, your fiscal disenfranchisement, you just tell them that I said 
to take any of them cards they're trying to play on you and put them back in the deck. This is Solar Gray, the Cinematic Sorcerer, saying send us an email, reach out, bring some friends to the show, and um, thank you guys for joining us today on the Game Gallery. <laughs>